Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from 5 o'clock tea of 1896, we're making the Colnbrook Sandwich. Uh, parentheses, excellent. Now, in 1896, uh, the first x-ray was taken. The city of Miami voted to incorporate. That was about 300 to 400 people living there. And comedian and actor George Burns was born. First thing it says to do is put beef through a mincing machine twice. I don't have a mincing machine, but I got Mini Prep Pro. And the reason we had to put it through the mincing machine is because we need to pound it with a lot of black pepper. Technically, it said a good quantity of black pepper. I don't know what a good quantity is, but I like black pepper. So I'm going to keep going. Now we pound it. Now we're to add a lump of butter. Doesn't say how much, just a lump. Now we put that onto thinly sliced buttered bread. Yes, yeah, more butter. Now we lay on sliced beef and pickled cabbage. Okay, let's give this Coldenbrook sandwich a go. Well, it's very beef forward. Um, <laughs> it's not bad. The black pepper is adding a, a nice bite. Lots of butter. Um, cabbage is providing a little bit of a textural thing as well as flavor. I do want to try and plus it up. And take my cue from beef on weck and add some caraway seeds and a little bit of sea salt. Okay, let's give this Colnbrook sandwich plussed up with a little caraway seed and sea salt. A go. The caraway is working really well with the pickled cabbage and the beef and the butter. And the salt is just seasoning the sandwich a little bit more and kind of playing up the beef flavor a little. Well, I got to give it to the authors of Five O'Clock Tea. That is the beefiest tea sandwich I've ever had. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Not sure why we needed to make beef butter and then lay beef on top of the beef butter, but it was tasty, especially with the black pepper and the uh, pickled cabbage. I would give the original Colnbrook sandwich, I don't know, probably a six, six and a half, plus up a little uh, sea salt and caraway seed. That's like a seven, seven and a half. That is tasty. It's a great combination. If you've never had beef on weck, highly recommend you give that a go. Um, horseradish would have been great on this as well. Blue cheese might have been fantastic. Uh, I was going to go with the arugula, but we already had a lot of black pepper in there, so no need for that. I'm going to finish this. I don't know that I would make this particular sandwich again, but the combination of beef with caraway seeds, mwah. All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs>